What's up? This is J.D. Wilson, founder of Lead You. Today we're in beautiful Highlands, New Jersey. We are hanging out with the one and only Cool Pants Connor. And for the first time ever, we are going off-road. The bike that I chose for Cool Pants Connor is the one and only Intense Spider. This thing has really cool handlebars, pretty fat tires, and I mean fat like P-H-A-T, and it is probably the coolest bike that we've ever had on this program. This is Educators on Bikes. Over, uh, right. Come on in, Cool Pants. This is your bike, my friend. Beautiful. Yes, this is a 275 Intense Spider. Um, I chose this bike for you because um, a couple reasons. One, um, you've always always taken the path less traveled, the the off road, if you will. I, I think that you are a little bit like a spider. It, follow me on this one. Yeah, I'll follow you. Um, and like the way you're like a spider is like this. You. You see things from different angles. Sure. Sometimes spiders can be upside down. Uh, sometimes spiders can be hanging from all over the place. And you think like a kid would think that might be looking at something from a different angle. So I, I think that might be, you're very spidery in that regard. I appreciate that. Yeah. It's the first time I've ever been compared to a spider before. <laughs> not uh, the last. Uh, yeah, hopefully not the yeah. last. <laughs> and like this bright bike, um, I think you bring a lot of color to everyone's life. You brought a lot of color to lead you. You bring a lot of color to your classroom. And that is why I got you the Intense Spider for the next 90 minutes. I appreciate that. I'm really excited to give this thing a try. Awesome, man. Uh, it looks a lot like a bike that I ride uh, personally. So yeah, it, it, it almost resembles a bike that might have come from your own garage. Um, have you been in my garage today? I, the, the, I mean, there could be, there might be some similarities. If you went to your garage right now, your bike might not be there. But it doesn't mean that this is actually your bike. Uh, but there may be some similarities between your actual bike. And uh, let's just, make, we're gonna just gonna, gonna no, let's just get going. Quick. Yeah, hey, let's just, come right. on, we gotta go. To say I've mastered it is like beyond, beyond. <laughs> <laughs> I. <laughs> I work well on a team, which is what I realized this year. Like having my own class has been like amazing. Right. But I work so good on a team where, like, uh, like with Lead You, it was always amazing. Being in a band, amazing. Right. Working in a restaurant, it's great because you have so many people that are. There's a lot of working parts to it. Yeah. Where when I'm in a classroom, it's you know it's your lesson. It's you're the one in front of there. But so I had to figure out ways to make my classroom into a team. Like and make like, you know, certain jobs that kids are gonna do and make them more part of the learning experience. Alright, here we are. Alright, this looks good. Hey, hey how up, are you? I'm JD. How are you JD? Uh, Connor, how are what you? What's your name? Anthony. Anthony, that is an amazing shirt. Like that shirt? Yeah, Wu-Tang, what's that about? I represent Wu-Tang. <laughs> <laughs> you from around here? I'm actually from Staten Island. I moved here, this is going on my third year. This is going on my third season here, actually. Okay. And three years that I'm living here. From Staten Island, from yeah. Shaolin. Awesome, oh, all right, yeah. <laughs> original, huh? I'm an original, I'm an original Wu-Tang guy. <laughs> That's amazing. Well, you, do you play any music yourself, or do you, what do you do? I have a recording studio, so along with this business, I do that. Mostly that's mostly over the winter. I mean, I go back and forth during the summer. I have a partner, oh, okay. so he'll pick up spots here when I have to work there. And I work with Wu. I've been working with them probably uh, 25, 30 years, from pretty close to the beginning. Okay, wait, you work with Wu-Tang? I record them, yes. I record them. I produce some stuff on Ghostface's albums and a lot of stuff, actually. Oh, my so, gosh. Yeah. Have they it's been fun. here? And that is the question. They, ha they haven't been here, but Ghost did tell me probably about a month ago we were recording. He said, I'm going to stop down to the shop. I want to hand some ices right. over. <laughs> I want to know. I want to eat what Ghostface, like, what do you think he would eat? <laughs> yeah, I'll, tell you, I'll tell, you what what his, he I'm tell you what his new flavor is. His new flavor of you choice. You mean his Wu flavor? It's, it's not a Wu flavor, but we should make a Wu flavor. He likes the chocolate fudge brownie, which I love too. Oh, there you go. Because he on. likes the chewy brownies in it. Okay. Right. Yeah, I I'm think in. we got to go with that. Yeah, we got to stick to whatever Ghost wants. Yeah, we'll, try get, uh, we'll get one of those to start. You got Thank it. Thank you. That's amazing.
feels right. Is this no. good? Is that the I mean, if you, I'm not comfortable, but that about, is that. <clears throat> how about like this? No, it's a little too casual, like cool, but like casually, like not. Yeah. And then, well, and then. What if, wait, what if you slater it? Like, I could kind of, we could beastie boy it if you wanted to even, or is this good? This. And then, well, how about we hold? Let's hold that. <laughs> All right, ready? So, what do you think about education, Connor? <laughs> to be honest, I, uh, I've been... I'm a dude. <laughs> All right. The people want to know. This, they, you know, this is like the Barbara Walters moment. How did you get the nickname Cool Pants Connor? Uh, uh, when we were going up to... It was like one of our first out-of-state out of state assemblies we went up to out of state uh, not Stockton Scranton uh, Scranton, yeah, Scranton was... Pennsylvania home of the uh, white American cheese pizza <laughs> <laughs> that's just, that is a Scranton pie oh, really? yeah they wow. put white American cheese on it I did not know that so anyway Something note there yeah so we were going up we were coming up with a skit uh, and some I walk out for my my big part yeah and uh, Jess uh, yeah who, who we worked yeah, with Jess was like yeah I'll Oh, uh, that's uh, hey, cool. cool pants, Connor. <laughs> that's right. And you were wearing what that day? Corduroys. <laughs> <laughs> I was wearing corduroys. It's like I'm not like pushing style here. Like I'm not like making like a whole new like trend. That moment would have, if we called you like corduroy uh, Connor, like which would have made more sense probably. Like hey, corduroy, <laughs> just cool pants, Connor. Do you think like a lot of kids that for like Christmas that year were like? I just want corduroys, mom. <laughs> <laughs> so they all, they all call you antacid? So all of the women, actually anybody that I do hip hop, I do a lot of hip hop also. Right. So I do a lot of mix downs. I'm big with the mix downs and mastering. So I get a lot of clients that send me stuff all right. to finish. So I do all the finishing touches and everyone on that side of it calls me antacid. Everyone on the house side, it's Anthony Anson. Yeah. So as a new teacher, you're supposed to have a, um, uh, a mentor, a teacher mentor who's been doing it for a while. So I had a, a great teacher mentor this year, uh, Tara, and she was just awesome. She was giving me like lesson plans that she knows worked for her previously. Right. So I could go in and say like, hey, I don't have to work so hard on just creating something from nothing. I could take something that kind of already exists and then that's when I could put a spin on it. Right. And that's what I always felt like, like working with you and working with other people was like, hey, like I got an idea for a song or for a skit. Right. And it's like, yeah, this is a great starting point. Now let's start like messing around with it. Let's start stretching it. Let's start, you know, adding some effects to it or. And that's, yeah, that's always where you come in. It's just, you take it to that next, sometimes unnecessary <laughs> <laughs> level, you know? And like, and no, but that's what's great though. You push, you push the envelope a little bit. And I think the kids, they've always responded to it in our assemblies. How did they respond to you? And I've seen a lot of the things you've done in your classroom, like the skits. How did they respond to you kind of pushing the envelope this year for your first year too? I, I, I think I think they enjoyed it. I, I had one person that told me like, so we did a thing every, every day yeah. uh, for my homeroom class. Uh, you know, you do attendance. Oh, the attendance? Yeah, you tell do me about attendance. that. Yeah, yeah that's great. Uh, and I don't know if I'm answering the question. No, but, it's fine. So uh, with attendance, I was like, this is the most boring part of the day. Like, yeah. say your name. Yeah, like, cool here. pants, here. Exactly, I say my name every day. <laughs> <laughs> so I, what I, I added, you know, for no reason at all, just to like kind of wake myself up and like maybe wake the kids up. Um, I just put on like a, a YouTube like suspense montage yeah. so I could get the song from it. So it was just like dun 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 <laughs> and I'm like like oh for tuna. Yeah yeah, right. yeah 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 so I have that playing on my Bluetooth speaker and then I'm just reading the kids' names but like kind of running around the class like like Robbie are you here? <laughs> Julie where are you? <laughs> <laughs> Kids are probably freaking out. They're like, just like, ah, yeah, I'm yeah. Here. Like, oh, I thought we lost you. Okay, like, and like it woke them up, like, and yeah. they were all excited. And then you know, then I go and put my PowerPoint on right after. But yeah. it was like the next day, they're like, why aren't you doing the, the, the thing? thing? Right. So it turned into every day. Like, uh, I had kids that made like a playlist of songs they wanted to hear, and like, I had uh, this one kid, Robbie. He's he's crazy. Uh, he came in nearly every day with a new costume or like some stuffed animals or something. Uh, we did one where it was like, let's be little like uh, little kids. So we put on the Rugrats theme song and he starts passing out like 
balls for people to play with and dolls. <laughs> and like the kids literally turned into children for like 10 minutes. That is amazing. And then like it was just like, okay, we're done. Like attendance. So is taking over. something like attendance that's like very mundane and very routine and like yeah. putting your own spin on it. And then get them on board. Right. Get them yeah, on board right it. away. Well, one thing I can say is that we've always been on board with Cool Pants Connor, aka Mr. Effenberg. Before I pretend to steal this bike, I'm going to steal a line that I think is appropriate for today, and that is, Wu-Tang is for the children. This has been Educators on Bikes Getting Ice Cream.